Alright, so I decided to film a video today, and it's kind of, it's kind of going to be a rant a little bit, because, um, I've just been noticing some things that have been, like, driving me crazy, and it's really been, like, prevalent in my mind, and I can't stop, like, fuming about it, just, like, in my mind, and so maybe if I rant about it a little bit, it'll make me feel a little bit better, and I can maybe spread the word and, like, spread awareness, so... That's the goal of today's video. Alright, so, lately I've kind of been in a funk, um, like, I go through, uh, periods where I'm super happy, super productive, super positive and energized about life for about two or three days, and then I'll go through, like, two or three days of being down and being unhappy and feeling like I'm not going anywhere, and, and I have this, like, I feel like it's like a like a sickness of like comparing myself to other people and that's awful like if if I had one tip for people it would just be to work so hard to not compare yourself to other people because honestly you are incomparable to anyone else like everyone is so vastly uniquely different that you honestly can't even compare yourself to other people but anyway uh, what I was what was, has been bothering me lately is um, how people have been treating mental illness. Like just society in general. Like, okay. So the other day I was like going for a run and um, I get a text from a good friend of mine and she is so upset because of how her boyfriend is treating her and she sends me screenshots of their conversation and he's and she's like trying to explain like it's not my fault that I am having um, issues with depression it's not my fault that I have this crazy anxiety like I just I can't just turn it off and his response to that was to belittle her and act as if depression and anxiety are a choice as if depression and anxiety aren't a chemical imbalance in the brain as if she's just being crazy Oh my goodness, this makes me so angry on so many levels. Like, okay, okay, first of all, depression, anxiety, anorexia, uh, bulimia, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, any sort of mental illness from just slight, like, like some people just experience slight depression when they're going through adolescence. Like, from something as small as that to something as large and impacting on your life as schizophrenia. It is all just a chemical imbalance in your brain. It is all just an illness, just a cell that is dividing wrong, I think. Um, but it is just a disorder. And nobody treats people who have other disorders the way that people treat people with mental illness. Like, mental illness is taboo. Like, if you have cancer, people don't say, Oh, you're just you're just pretending like just stop just stop having cancer like those cells that are dividing wrong in like wherever your cancer is that tumor that you have yeah like it's pretty much just like it's just you right it's just you acting like that just stop yeah people people don't treat other illness like this people don't treat other disorders like this even like like mental disorders like uh, handicapped people, Down syndrome, people don't tell people with Down syndrome to, oh, stop acting like that. And of course they understand that cancer and Down syndrome and depression are vastly different, especially, like, medically, they're crazily different. But they are all on the same level as being illness or disorders that you cannot control. It is not. N none of those. Having none of those is a choice. It drives me crazy that it is so taboo to struggle with depression, to struggle with an eating disorder, to struggle with self-harm, to be bipolar, or just any of this. Like, it drives me crazy that people, just any people, don't recognize it the way that it is. Like, okay, for example, so my parents are avid Lutherans. I don't follow that path, but that is what they believe in, so I respect that. And when I was, I was recently diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and um, if I had been diagnosed with anything else, anything that wasn't a mental illness, they would have gone to the church, and I would have gotten a prayer on Sunday. But 
Mental illness is so taboo that I have to feel ashamed of it. Like, I need just as much support from God as anybody else with a disorder or an illness. But, but, I mean, okay, I don't, I don't really believe in the conventional Christian God, but it's, it's the, the, like, it's the whole idea of the thing that really gets to me. Like, it's not that I need the prayers, it's just that they're not going to submit that because that would make the whole congregation feel so strange. And I even fall into this trap myself. Like, I try super, super hard to be open with my demons and my struggles because I don't think I should be ashamed of them. I'm not going to cover scars on my legs or on my wrists. Okay, I do kind of cover that. I decorate them with bracelets on my wrists. But I'm not going to not wear shorts. I'm not going to not go swimming in the summer. But sometimes I do slip up. Sometimes I do feel self-conscious. I feel as if people are only looking at me for the marks on my skin. People... Um, like, in my Sonic story time video, like, they were like, oh, you need to keep those covered because people are going to complain. But, like, what kind of person complains about that? Like, um, that had such a la lasting impact on me because it's just, it, it was basically someone telling me outright, you need to be shameful of this, you need to be shameful of this experience that you went to, of these struggles that you went through. And I mean, they're scars now. Like, there are no fresh cuts anymore. And I'm proud of that. Like, I should be proud of that because I overcame that. That was a, a struggle that I overcame. People who beat cancer, people who go into remission, they get to be so proud. They get to put ribbons on their cars and go to fundraisers. And um, it's something that you, you like revel in telling somebody else. Like, this happened to me and I beat it. And of course, as a little disclaimer, um, I can recognize that uh, going through cancer, going through chemotherapy, having that stress on your life and on your family members, and having a life-threatening illness is um, definitely a lot harder than struggling with self-harm. Um, but that's not to say that depression and self-harm aren't important. Uh, cancer probably wasn't the best analogy in the world, but it was the first thing that I thought of. And why can't that, like, why can't that be how eating disorders are? Why can't that be how self-harm is? Why can't that be how any kind of mental illness, especially something where you struggle with self-harm, why can't people be proud that they beat stuff like that? Really, the bottom line is depression isn't just someone being lazy. Bipolar isn't someone just being crazy. D anorexia isn't a choice. Like, I just, I want the world to be able to acknowledge all of these chemical imbalances as not something to be shameful of, but something to reach out and help people with. Something to recognize when people overcome them something to be proud of that you're a past. Alright, so today's quote of the day is better to be the one who smiled than the one who didn't smile back. And I thought that was a good quote for this video because it's kind of a depressing video a little bit, kind of ranty, and I wanted to have that little bit of positivity at the end. And yeah, to me this means like better to be the one spreading happiness and positivity even if people don't return it. Already, as always, if you made it to the end, I commend you, and I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks for sharing some time with me, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!